Hi, this is Carlos Lopez. I thought with today's environment, with the worldwide spread of coronavirus, that today I would talk about how to lead in a crisis. It doesn't matter whether you're an employee or an employer, be a leader. So let's talk about this. This affects everyone. The worldwide spread of the coronavirus, it affects your career. It affects companies. It affects worldwide economies. It affects psyches. And there are a lot of unforeseen problems in this worldwide spread. So leaders are forced to make important decisions. This is probably the most important decisions you're ever going to make in your entire career. Remember, we have to keep people safe. We have to keep our companies afloat. We don't know what tomorrow will look like. We don't even know what next quarter will look like. What will next year look like? So we have to look at making decisions without knowing what's down the road. So what can we as leaders do? Well, the best leaders do more. They keep their organization going through tough and uncertain times. We as leaders provide a source of steadiness for everyone around us. When we provide this source of steadiness, we move in a direction that brings out the best in people. We have staff that's well positioned to innovate and we create growth as this new normal settles in. We went to a restaurant, our favorite restaurant to eat last night, and it was actually kind of scary. It reminded me of a zombie movie. You know, everybody's gone. This place is normally packed. Normally waiters and waitresses running around everywhere. Two waiters and just virtually empty. All these tables spread apart. Yeah, it was, it was like we live in a zombie world. So what can we do in, this, in these uh, terrible times? Everyone plays a part. Like I said earlier, it doesn't matter if you're an employee or an employer. We have to be steady. We have to be leaders. Everyone is running in the opposite directions. If we lead our team, we will be a team that sustains high performance. Even in the face of rapid change. I remember when this thing started, the IRS was making changes. They extended the date to July 15th to file your taxes. Uh, <clears throat> at first, they were going to charge penalties and interest, and they decided not to. California said, no, we're not going to conform. Then they said, we will conform. So everything was just changing rapidly. So we have to adapt with it and change rapidly as well. And like I said, this applies to employees and employers. Remember, amid the turmoil and trauma, what really shows up is your moral courage. Now, everyone's behavior is affected by this. And most importantly, the way you behave in a crisis determines who you are and your future. You've got to have integrity. If you're supposed to work eight hours a day and you're working at home, work nine hours a day. Don't take advantage of your employer. Be honest. Honesty will always bring you through any situation. It may not seem uh, very good at first, but in the long run, your honesty is what you have. Be innovative. When you see something can be changed and you know it's good for the company, it's not because you're doing it to make your boss richer. You're doing it to make your future better. Be compassionate. Remember, every kind action comes around in a different way. You cannot think, if I'm nice to this person, they better be nice to me. Because no act of kindness goes unnoticed. Someone will be kind to you. Some people prefer to call this karma. Karma does come around. Yeah, don't take advantage of a bad situation, especially with your employer. Your employer works just as hard, if not harder, than you do to make sure 
that you have a place to work, that you get a steady paycheck, give. Give until you realize, you know what, this is good. It's good for me. It's good for everyone. Be nice and be kind to everyone. It's all we have. Our integrity, the feelings that we give to others. And like I said, what goes around comes around. Be a good person. Be nice and kind to everyone. Thank you. This is Carlos Lopez, CEO of Latino Tax Pro. And I will be doing more of these series as we go along. Thank you. Have a great day. Stay safe and stay healthy.